Hi and welcome to another one of my uh, PHP tutorials. Um, in this tutorial I'll show you how to uh, make functions, um, use methods and uh, some simple class stuff in PHP, and uh, how to include files. Um, so to get started just make sure you um, start up NetBeans and XAMPP, the web server. Just really running Apache. And once that's started um, open the projects I was working on last and my first project yep, ok it's loaded, open up index and this is what I was working on last time ok, so in PHP um, mm, functions are usually um, used to um, stop the replication of code so um, if I um, wanted to print data twice, um, rather than having to keep printing the same thing twice, if I wanted to print the same information, I can create a, uh, a function and put what I want to output in there, and then call, keep calling that function, which is more uh, efficient, and it stops you having to type lots more than you need to. So, to make a function in PHP, the um, Syntax is function, then you um, give your function a name, so let's just call it print hello. Uh, you then use um, brackets here, uh, normal brackets. Um, in here, if we had to give it any perimeters, that's um, we're giving it variables, then we'd put it in here, so like string, for example. But we're not going to yet. Um, so. And then you use curly brackets, and uh, NetBeans will autocomplete the ending curly bracket. So anything in here is now in the print hello function. So we're just going to type print hello world. And the way we call this is we put here, we would just call um, print hello. Uh, and we're not giving any perimeters, so we're not putting anything in there. So that should print hello world to the screen if we save it. If we go to my local test server project hello world to print. So that's using the function to print hello world. Um, we'll just show you how to give it a perimeter. So if we wanted to, um, this is a really pointless function, but if we wanted to print a string, so we call it print string and we'll give it string. Um, and then wh wh what we want to print is the string that has been given, so we use print string. So if I now put in print string um, this is my string. Um, it should now print this is my string. It does. Um, we can also make a variable here called string to print because this is my string. And then put string to print in here and that should also work. So that is a very, very simple function in our PHP. Um, we can also return data, so rather than printing. Say we wanted to, um, we ha had a function called add. So, I have add, I want to give it two numbers, so num1, and then uh, to separate perimeters, have more than one perimeter, we um, use a, uh, a uh, comma, so num2. So, I'm giving it, so function add, num2, so num1 plus, uh, and num2. So what we're going to do in the function is we're going to have, um, Total. So total. What's it doing? Total equals num one plus num two. Now the way we can um, get the total, uh, print the total, or use the total is um, we type here return return total. So that will do. What that will do is we'll give call function add. We'll give it two numbers, num one and num two. The total will equal num one plus num two and then we return the total and the way we get the return data is we could um, put in this for example total equals add um, one and then comma two so total should now equal three so then we can print total should be three refresh three there we go 
So this function is adding these two numbers, it's returning the total, and we're, we are getting the output of total. This is, um, another thing is, this variable total here isn't seen by this total. It's an, not in its um, scope. It, it, um, this is local to this function. So total cannot be used outside this function. So what we have to do to get total is we have to um, put uh, total equals adds and it returns the total. So now total is the value of this total because that's what it's been returned. And then we output it and it works. Um, yeah, so that's how you, that's some very simple functions in PHP. Um, to make a class in PHP, we, um, we type class and we call our class functions. I'll make a sort of a library class. Um, so class functions and then we um, curly brackets. Now this is the class functions. So if you wanted um, a class in function to add, we would just do um, function add. Now this is a method. This isn't technically a function. And a method is a function within a class. So function add is going to be num1 num2 again, and we'll just do that same thing, so total equals num1 plus uh, plus num2, return total. Okay, and I'll show you how to use scope in PHP. So I have a, a class that has a method in it. This is, um, this isn't sort of an object, you wouldn't use this class as an object. Um, I'm, I'm just using this class to hold um, functions. So the way I can call it now is if I just do add 1, 2, and I go total equals print total it should throw an error I believe because fatal error call to undefined function. And the reason it's undefined is that it can't see it because it's within the class. Now to use scope to get to this method we um, do we type functions and then colon colon add and now it's looking inside the functions class for the method add or the function add um, and now it should uh, print the total um, well this is just a PHP warning it's um, it's a, um, a static uh, should not be called yeah it's not a static method because, uh, um, this is this doesn't stop it from working, this is um, a warning level that um, some of the newer versions of PHP have. I can fix this by typing uh, public static function. That's what it is. Static so function. Error will go away at print free. Um, yeah. And that is how you can make a simple library class in PHP. Um, now I might want to organize my code so that I have functions in a different file so I can keep everything nicely organized so I don't have to um, print the functions and I might want for the functions to be included on several pages so what I would do is in my source files I can right click go new PHP file and I might functions.inc.php that's sort of a naming convention in PHP for an include file um, so finish. Um, so here, I'm going to copy and paste my functions class. Copy paste that here. Now, if I do this, it should throw an error because it's an undefined function. Class function is not found. Well, it's not found. Um, so, fun so the class is not found because we're not including it. So to include a, another PHP file, we type include. Open. You don't have. You can um, several ways. Just like print, there's several ways you can include files. You can include like this, and type the function, the file name here, like functions.inc.php. Or um, the way I do it, though, I um, I go include, um, and then open up brackets. It doesn't matter. Uh, functions.php, and that should work. So I'm including that file, what's in this file, into my index file, and that works free again. Um, you can also type require. Now the difference between require and include is that if you try to include a file and it doesn't work, uh, such as 
the file isn't in it can't find the file it will not kill the script it will throw an error but it will not kill the script whereas require if it cannot find the file it will kill the script dead um, so in some circumstances where you need you really have to have what's in the other file you might just want to kill the script if it um, doesn't run uh, if it can't um, require the file so that's why that's the difference between require and include so here it still works. It's um, because it can find it. If I if I were to type um, dot dot forward slash, it's trying to look in the file, um, the parent file of my first project for a folder. Sorry, directory. It will um, warning require fatal error. Require could not find it. If I change to include, it won't. It won't give a fatal error. It won't kill the script. See here, it, it doesn't. Um, oh well, it gives a fatal error for a different reason that it couldn't find the class, but the actual including of the file doesn't cause it to have a fatal error, but require does. So that's the difference. Um, okay, um, I'll show you how to make an object sort of a class now. So if I had the, if I want to make a class an object and uh, called say animal, so class animal. Um, I can define a construct. So I could have um, construct. Oh, I'm doing construct. So in my construct, uh, what am I doing? Um, construct. Um, so my construct, this is the function that's called when you instantiate the class, when you start creating a new object of the class. Um, um, so construct, what variables are we going to give? So say we want to create an animal object. So I would do something like this. I would say animal equals new, um, and because the class here it's called animal, because new animal. Um, if I give it some parameters, such as I might type here um, species, uh, not very good spelling today. Species. I don't even know if I spelled that right. Doesn't look right. <laughs> Probably is. Um, so, species. Uh, okay, so, if I, so, um, uh, that's nothing. Um, the reason I got public here is that this function can be called from outside the. I'm not even sure I need that actually, but um, this function public means anyone can access this function outside of the class. If it's private, it means only calls within this class can access the function or the method. Um, so I can do the same with variables. So I can have a private variable. So private um, species. Equals no, I don't need to equal anything yet. So private species, and I can have a private age. Um, so construct, I'm gonna create a construct of species and age. Of the animal. So you give it species and age, and it will go. It will go. Um, uh, So, it gi we give it species and age, and we're going to say um, the variable this in uh, classes in uh, PHP is for when you're talking about a variable of this class, of the class that we're currently in. So we say this species equals species. And we can also say this age equals age. And then here from here we can have a public function of um, get age, um, and this will return this age. And same for species get species. What is it? What means for this word? I don't even know if it's right. <laughs> 
Plasma. Um, return this species. Um, okay, so if we now call new animal, and we're going to call it, I don't know, um, dog, and uh, age is going to be four. So now we've made an animal object. Uh, let's just check we haven't broken something. Or, oh, God, it's not required. Okay, oh, that's why. So, we haven't broken anything, we've not got any errors. So I've now created an object called animal, uh, which is a new animal object. I'm going to change it to dog actually, just to stop confusion. Or my dog. My dog equals new animal dog, and an age of four. Um, and then, so if I do here, if I want to print the age of the dog, I can do this. My dog, get age. That should print the age that we set here, it should print four. See, and because this is because in the class animal, I've set a private uh, variable uh, of species and age. When we create the class, um, the object, sorry, we create new animal and we give it the parameters dog and four. So we're telling it it's got species, it's dog, and the age is going to be four. So this we then set the private variable of this species to equal the species that we gave it in the constructor and the same for the age and then when we get age we are returning the variable the private variable of the class of age and the same species this is a pretty pointless class again because all we're doing is outputting the same data we've given it but it's just an example of how to create an object um, so get age so we can say make it look a bit nicer my dog is uh, and then my dog is dot uh, my dog get age my dog is my dog get age years old uh, new line HTML wait this is pretty stupid actually and um, what we should do here is something like um, this let's break up the thing here so my dog my my dog get species so it should now say my dog is get rid of that current, that's a bit silly. my get species which will be dog in this case because set it here is uh, blah blah age years old so now it should say my dog is four years old when we output it there you go right, that's with a capital D but you can um, change strings around and stuff like that um, so my dog is four years old, and that is a very very simple PHP object. Um, that's the end of this tutorial. I think next tour I might start doing how tos such as um, how to create a login system, for example. I might do one more tutorial before I start on how tos and on uh, some MySQL how to run how to run queries, etc. Um, but yeah, hope you found this tutorial um, worthwhile. Thank you.